okay i feel like okay we're on live hey y'all how you doing we're about to make some vegan veal parmesan we're creme de la creme real fancy you know what i'm talking about on y'all's ass this evening super excited to make this for y'all real quick let me see i'm just tagging a couple of groups trying to get in where i motherfucking fit in at let me curse not too much because i know some of these groups be saint and sanctified and they don't like all that cursing so i ain't gonna do too much i'm gonna do a little bit just enough hey leah what's happening so i'm gonna give everybody else a chance to come into the room really quick i'm gonna explain what veal parmesan is so a lot of people have probably had chicken parmesan some people have never had veal parmesan what is veal veal is actually a baby cow well it's baby cow meat okay so the actual animal is called a calf but the actual meat is called veal so if you ever go to an italian restaurant it's like oh they have veal parmesan that's something fancy it's not really fancy it's just beef the only difference is Hey, Lakidra, the only difference is that the cow is actually slaughtered as a baby as opposed to being slaughtered as an adult. But because this is 100% vegan, you ain't even got to worry about none of that. You ain't got to worry about it adding on to the sins I'm sure you probably already have on your list because it is guilt-free. It is harm-free. No animals were uh, hurt, harmed, or injured in the making of this meal. Um... If you have not seen me make um, spaghetti before, because we're going to start with the sauce. The sauce is super important. I'm going to show you, and this is um, pretty much one of my idiot-proof recipes. Any, everybody, and all the people can make it. So the first thing we're going to start off, as we do with every single recipe, because we are black, is onions, peppers, and garlic. Always. Hey, Demetri, <laughs> onions, peppers, and garlic. Everything black start with onions, peppers, and garlic, okay? So y'all going to judge me. That's okay, because I know who I am. Um, whenever I get a lot of green peppers, I just chop them up in the food processor and then I like freeze them and it lasts longer so that whenever I get ready to cook, especially on a weeknight, I don't have to go through like chopping all the vegetables. Now, if you happen to be a person with a whole bunch of extra free time, by all fucking means, chop your vegetables up every time. I just don't do it because I just don't have the time nor the patience, okay? So I'm going to put... The green pepper in there. Actually, I'm going to turn this fire up so this water cooks out of it. But this is just green pepper, regular bell pepper. Put in the food processor. I put it in a Ziploc bag and I freeze it. Okay? Hi, Shay. My baby. Oh, Shay, I want to give you a virtual hug. Y'all, Shay is the dopest poetry host you ever want to meet above the Mason-Dixon line. She is out of the Boogie Down Bronx, New York. Shay, I'm coming to D.C. on Saturday. I know that don't mean nothing because you live in New York, but you know the us Southerners, D.C., New York, New Jersey, it's all the same shit. It's all one state, my friend. So basically, since I'm being D.C., I'm basically, I'm basically going to be in the Bronx. Like, I'm basically going to be in your face because I'm going to be in D.C. on Saturday. So, you know what I'm saying? Basically. Okay, so this is yellow onion, same thing. All I did with this yellow onion was I just put in the food processor, and I froze it, okay? And now I'm gonna pour this in the pot. We're making the sauce right now. You gonna wave me? Come, come to DC. I got a taco pop-up shop. I got two catering events. This is about to, I'm about to be booked and busy as the good Instagram hoes say. Okay, as you can see, Putting it back in the freezer, okay? Now, I had did a private dinner on Saturday. And in the midst of that private dinner, I got some um, garlic and some crushed up shallots. I'm just going to toss these in because I have them and I don't have nothing to do with them. Don't y'all be calling me fancy or nothing. My, oh, she got shallots. She fancy. Don't do that. Don't do that, okay? I'm one of you. Straight out of Opalaka. I'm just putting it in there because, you know... Like I always say, waste not, want not, okay? So now I'm going to chop some actual fresh garlic and put it in there. And guys, this is the process anytime I make um, spaghetti sauce, which is what we're making. And you have to, you got to start with the basics. So I'm going to get like three big cloves of garlic. I always use my biggest cloves first, okay? 
Uh, we can go ahead and use four. No big deal, right? Okay, so this garlic is already peeled. If you want to get the garlic that comes in the casing and you got to do it all yourself, you can do that. But for the sake of time and television, I just use the peeled garlic. Don't think I'm fancy and I got organic garlic. I got it because the organic garlic and the regular garlic was the same price. And I always say, um, if you're getting something organic, get it when it's a price difference that's either exactly the same or a price that you won't notice. So it might be like a 10 cents difference, a 25 cents difference. I don't know what the cents difference is that you can afford, but this was the exact same price. It was literally regular nigga garlic, organic nigga garlic. Both was $3.99. So I got this one, okay? Right here, I have four big-ass GMO cloves of garlic, okay? They was probably grown in some millionaire's pocket. You know they ain't right. Look how big they is. So, but I'm going to use them, okay? So, I'm going to put this down a little bit so you can see the garlic and my titties at the same time, okay? Boom. All right, so I'm just going to cut up the garlic and really quick just kind of give it a rough chop rough dice whatever um and get it ready to put in the pan i have the heat on about eight normally i would have it on six but because there's water coming off the onions and the bell peppers um i'm turning it up higher so that a lot of that water can cook out okay the sauce is going to be pretty much pretty much the easiest part well no actually it's all pretty easy this is just regular uh this could be a regular weeknight meal hey Tanaj, what's up hot mama Tanaj, i'm coming to tallahassee next week saturday also y'all i've been trying to give away food all week and just do it for free and not a single person has come by I was been trying to pay my blessings forward. I don't know if it's because I live on the north side of Atlanta. I don't know what it is. Okay, we're just doing a little quick rough chop on the garlic. And we're going to toss that in there. Alright. Hey, Corey. So this is just a recap of what we have in our pot we have yellow onion we have green bell pepper um we have garlic and a few shallots that i have from the party you don't have to have the shallots guys but the onions peppers and garlic that's a must you can't can't do it without it you really shouldn't be cooking nothing without it and any self-respecting black person that considers them an adult i expect that you already gonna have the base ingredients in your house which is onions peppers and garlic okay so we're going to let that saute. I have that on like a high heat because I want all the water. I'm going to show you guys. As you guys can see, there's like a lot of water in it. And that water is because the onions and bell peppers was frozen. So it's, it's, it's okay. We just have it on a high heat so that can all cook out. All right. So we're going to get the base for the meat because we're making a meat sauce. You don't have to. Um, traditionally, chicken parmesan and veal parmesan doesn't have a meat sauce. It's usually just a tomato sauce. But, okay, whatever. So, this is what we're using. Field roast Italian sausage. Field roast makes four types of sausage. Hey, Donald, makes four types of sausage. They make a chipotle one, which is really spicy. Very, very spicy. I use that with my tacos. They make a Italian one um, that I use for pasta sauces. They make a smoked apple sage, which I use for breakfast. And then the last one they just came out with is a bratwurst, and I haven't tried it yet. So I really like this. When I make my pasta sauce, I prefer actually to use Beyond Meat Sausage. Their Italian is the best I've seen on the market, and it's soy-free. However, Beyond Meat Sausage is $9.00 for four sausages this one is six dollars for four sausages so which one do you think i went with in the midst of my financial obstacle i'm trying to overcome which is the holidays <laughs> i went with this one right and once again people the checks have not cleared i do not get paid enough to tell you about products that i don't like so i really love field rolls there's my in my number two spot the beyond me is number one but it's nine dollars and we didn't have nine dollars for the culture today okay the number two is field rolls Italian sausage it is soy free you can get it at Publix you can get it at Kroger 
um food bazaar walmart walmart doesn't tend to usually have this flavor but they do offer field roll sausages um i'm trying to think more stores like trader joe's doesn't carry them because you know like trader joe's mostly carries they own shit um but it is really good hey michael okay so i'm letting the water cook out of that now with these sausages I'm going to show you guys. I'm about to put them in the food processor. So I'm going to slice this part off. I'm going to show you guys how it comes. Okay. Once again, the name of the company is Field Roast. Okay. And if you see them on the street, tell them to cut me a check because I'm the one who told you about it. Okay. So the sausage comes like this, just like its length. Now, really quick part. This outside part that looked like a casing, bitch, that's plastic. If you eat that, you finna die. Okay. So... We got to cut it out the plastic, and instead of chopping it up like I told y'all, I'm going to put it in a food processor. Okay, so let me show you how I do this. The way you cut it, you dig the knife into it. Don't, don't cut yourself. Dig the knife and cut it at a diagonal, okay? A diagonal line. Boom. And then... Take the plastic off. You see that's plastic and you throw it in the food processor. Now, if you don't have a food processor or a blender, you can chop it yourself. We ain't got time for all that. For the sake of time and television, it's a week night. Niggas got shit to do. We're not doing all that, okay? Let me show you once again so you can see. Boom. Going to cut it. Diagonal. Cut it. Diagonal. Cut it. Diagonal, okay? Then you're going to pop it like this and then you're going to see it's going to come wrapping Boom. You're going to peel that down. You're going to squeeze that out. Get all the plastic off of it. Toss it in the food processor, okay? And this is Italian sausage, okay? Vegan Italian sausage, okay? You're going to peel that down. And just so you guys know, this is already 100% cooked, as you can see. See what it looks like? It's 100% cook you could eat it as is all you're doing is heating it up that's all you're doing boo i'm sorry for the new people who's watching our smack so consider this half cooking class half mukbang all right we got all our sausages out okay now Turn this fire down. Okay. So all the water done cooked out of this. Now I'm going to add a little bit of oil to it. I'm adding some infused olive oil. Don't call me fancy. Don't do that, okay? My mama got me this as a gift. All right. Now let me show you the sausages. I got them in a the food processor. Hold on. Let me flip the camera around. Boom. Got them in a the food processor. I'm going to put it on the top. It's going to be loud. Okay. See, we didn't have to do nothing, right? really easy like i said for the sake of time and television now when i make my lasagna or i make my baked spaghetti when i'm vegan trapping in other cities i usually use three field roll sausages i use the italian i use the chipotle and the smoked apple one i feel like those balance each other out they got a little bit of sweet a little bit of spicy and then the italian but since i'm just making this small batch i'm gonna just use the italian put it in there boom didn't have to chop nothing they didn't have to do no extra work. We already got onions, peppers, garlic, and shallot in here. Remember, the sausage is already cooked. So you don't, it's not like regular Italian sausage or ground beef where you have to like wait for it to brown. You don't have to do any of that. Once you put it in, you can start putting your sauce in. Okay. butter hold on y'all i'm looking for the 
sorry, I did forget something else. My bad. Usually with the onions, peppers, and garlic, I put in tomato. Now, why is this important? Let me rinse this off before black people start talking about me, okay? I know black people like to feel a little bit of lead tap water is doing something for these uh, pesticide vegetables, but whatever. I don't want y'all to talk about me, so I'm going to wash it, okay? So, really quick. Hey, Brittany. Normally, when you make pasta sauce, you guys put diced tomatoes in it, right? Like the canned ones. I'm hoping that you do, that we're evolved enough to do that, right? Um, now, instead of putting the diced tomatoes from the can, I just put these tomatoes in because it's fresher. Um, it's going to make the sauce nice and rich. And whenever you get the stuff in the can, it has all type of, you know, I don't know, chemicals and bullshit in it. So, instead of dealing with all that, you could just dice up... Um, one or two or three or however many tomatoes you need to go ahead and add to the sauce and you know add to that chunkiness as well also if you like hey erica if you like mushrooms add mushrooms too i love mushrooms i just like i said i'm in the midst of a, um what the bible would call a financial storm you understand what i'm saying for some reason the lord wants me to prove again that i can survive in the midst of poverty um, and so here we are. Okay. But if you can, add a fresh tomato, okay? So once again, we're going to review what we have in the pot. We have onions, bell pepper, garlic, a little bit of olive oil, fresh tomato, and we're going to put some um, butter in there. And we also have the vegan Italian sausage. Let me show you what it looks like. Hey, Naomi. Now we're going to put some vegan butter. I know a lot of people did not know this. Country crock is vegan. It's something that we call a oops vegan, right? So it's something that basically you've been eating your whole life and you ain't never know it was vegan, right? Like, for example, Oreos. Oreos been vegan our whole life. We ain't even know that. Country crock is vegan. You see this? The regular original brand, okay? You've been vegan half your life on your mama's side. You didn't even know it. You didn't even know it. Okay, so we're going to put some butter in there. Don't judge me. I can hear you judging me. Hey, Kayla. I can sense you judging me. The spirit is telling me you're judging me. Okay? Now, you might be asking yourself, damn, Sunny, that's a lot of butter. It is. Once again, just because it's vegan don't necessarily mean that it's healthy, okay? Um, and the reason why I put a good amount of butter in it, because normally when you use regular Italian sausage, like pork sausage, it's going to give off grease and saturate the pan so that everything doesn't stick. Vegan sausage doesn't do that. It doesn't give off water or grease or anything of that nature. So you have to add um, a little bit more fat than you might usually use, okay? So this is the base of our pasta sauce. I know what you're thinking. I can feel you judging me. you like, damn, she ain't put no seasoning in it yet. Black people, hold on. Hold on, okay? So the way I do my sauce is I put everything in and then I season the sauce to keep from having to season it twice. Okay, you, okay, is that okay? All right, so let me show you what we got in the pot so far. Boom, tomatoes, Italian sausage, bell pepper, onion, garlic, shallot, olive oil, vegan butter, AKA country crop. Okay, hey Patera, are you still with Patera? I'm coming down to Miami and uh december 26th i'm gonna be down there and i got an event on the 29th and i'm gonna have your tacos okay boom we got to put the sauce in there and we're gonna turn the fire down so we don't get popped up and burnt and look crazy on tv okay all right ladies and gentlemen this is the sauce i'm using prego fresh mushroom now let me go ahead and say this you can literally use whatever sauce you want. Why? Because as black people, we're going to season the fuck out of it anyway, right? So you could use Great Value. You could use the Publix brand. You could use um, Simply Natural, which is the Kroger um, brand. You could use uh, Great Value. I think I said that. You can use Ragu, um, Barilla. Um, I don't know some of these other nigga names, but you could use them all. You can use whatever sauce you want to because we're going to super season it. I personally grew up on prego so i just always like i'm brand loyal i always get prego 
if you grew up on ragu and you always got ragu go ahead and get ragu you know what i'm saying whatever because if you grew up on the store brand get the store brand like i said we're gonna season it if you look i always tell people like we're so loyal to these brands if you look flip them all over they all got the same ingredients in pretty much almost the same order okay so it really 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 does not matter which brand you get all right so boom this is our sauce i got the um the mushroom kind because i um what's it called it i didn't have the money to buy fresh mushrooms and i really like mushrooms in my sauce if that's not your bag that's cool you can get the chunky garden vegetable i also like the tomato basil garlic the garlic and onion they have all different flavored sauces um quick vegan tip all of them for the most part are vegan obviously except for the ones that say flavored with me hey bobby but double check the marinara sauces because some marinara sauces have milk in it which i know is weird like why the fuck would you put milk in it but some niggas do so double check the marinara sauces and make sure that they don't have milk in them okay so we're gonna pour all of this sauce in there right boom now if you're from the hood like i'm from the hood you're gonna put a little warm water in there make sure you get all your money's worth okay not a lot not a lot of water just a little bit okay you want to shake that up make sure you get all your money's worth see how all that dripped down to the bottom that was all sauce you was finna lose because you're being too proud some of us done came too far we done forgot we done forgot our humble beginnings okay boom we got all our sauce in there now we're gonna turn the fire down gonna turn the fire down to about two or three we're gonna stir this up we got a nice rich sauce and now we're gonna season it and we're gonna let it simmer while we get our veal vegan veal parmesan ready okay and then we're gonna boil the pasta and we're gonna be done this is a quick weeknight meal okay this is just a step up on spaghetti okay just a mm from spaghetti spaghetti is a regular weeknight meal veal or chicken parmesan whichever you prefer is not trust me it's not as bougie as a lot of people think like like i said a lot of people don't know what veal is veal is just baby cow meat it just means that they kill the cow as a baby as an, instead of as an adult that's it it ain't no lamb it ain't nothing fancy okay so now we turn the fire down because we don't want what the pop up and us to look dumb on television right so we turn the fire down very important you do not want to cover your spaghetti sauce I don't give a fuck if you was raised that way. Don't do it, okay? When you cover the spaghetti sauce, the condensation, big word, okay, S-A-T word, the condensation is going to get on the top of the, the lid, and that water is going to trickle down into your sauce, and it's going to thin your sauce out. Your sauce will never get thick as long as you keep covering it. I hope you learned something today, okay? Never cover spaghetti. Most sauces you don't cover, but definitely not spaghetti sauce. I don't care the occasion. Wedding bar mitzvah kwanzaa your grandmama birthday do not cover it okay and if grandma has a problem with it you can tell her i said it don't do it okay so now here's what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and season this sauce okay we're gonna season it to the smithers all right so let's go ahead and get started with our seasoning i put this in everything hey tamara or tamara if you are considering being vegan, you're dating a vegan, you hunching on a vegan, you might want to be vegan, you ain't never been vegan, nobody seen you be vegan, it don't matter, you need this. This is called better than bouillon paste. It goes a lot further than um, actual vegetable broth and it's going to last you longer and it won't thin your sauces out. I put this in everything and I put that on everything, on my mama, on my hood. You need it, okay? They sell it at most places, Walmart, Kroger, it's in the soup aisle, okay? So when you walk down the aisle where the Campbell's soup is, all the vegetable broth, all that, look in the little crevices, you're going to see this. They sell it, okay? Don't tell me they don't sell it because they sell it, all right? So I usually, whenever I make stuff, let me get a um, spoon. I usually start my life off with a tablespoon of this, okay? And then you swirl that around. This is really good because it has a very good base flavor. It has, um, what is this? It says vegetables, celery, onion, there's tomato, salt, whole bunch of vegan shit in here, okay? 
now they do make a lot of different flavors they have like a ham one they have a lobster one they have chicken they have beef they have a whole bunch of different flavors but the vegetable one that's the one you're gonna go with because you're trying to be vegan right okay lie to me talk dirty to me tell me you're going vegan that's what i want to hear okay you need this put it close up so you need a screenshot you need this it's excellent you gotta have it. I use this in almost everything. When I make the cheese sauce for my mac and cheese, um, the spaghetti here, any soups, any stews, everything pretty much. Hey, Nick. Okay, so we got that out of the way, right? Now, the next thing, black people, this is base seasoning, onion powder and garlic powder. Onion powder and garlic powder. Where are we going, huh? Where are we going? We going into 2020 without the basics? No, we're not. Don't ask me why I got an industrial bag of onion powder. Mind your business, okay? Put some onion powder just until the ancestors tell you you're good, okay? You're going to put some garlic powder, all right? Boom. All right, onion powder, garlic powder. Where is my own, what you call them? Okay, boom. Mm-hmm. No, 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 I didn't need that. I need this. Um. Oh, this is over here. I need this. Hold on, y'all. I'm coming. I'm just getting my little herbs prioritized. Y'all talk amongst yourselves. Say, neighbor. Hey, neighbor. Okay. I got my little seasonings. Hang on. They got a vegan chicken one and a vegan beef one, too. Yeah. Um, I have the vegan chicken one, but it's, is it made by this same company, Better Than Bouillon? Because I haven't seen that. The one I use is by um, Edwards and Sons. Dumb niggas. Okay. Here we go, black people. Okay, so the next three, four, couple of items, I don't know the number exactly, that we're adding is crucial to the revolution, okay? Hey, neighbor, that's right, Shay. Tell your neighbor about your day. So the next ones we add in is crucial to the revolution, okay? You cannot make your spaghetti sauce without it, period. That's it. If you don't remember nothing else I said other than don't cover it, remember these next few spices, okay? We're going to put some time in there. Okay, dry thyme. If you have fresh thyme, you can use it. But if you were going to use fresh thyme, then you wanted to fry it in the oil with the onions and the peppers. So the essence could have got in there, okay? But since we have dry thyme, it's okay. We're in the midst of a financial struggle. We're going to put some thyme in here, okay? Now, you're going to put a spladoosh of thyme in there. Did you see that? A spladoosh, okay? Okay. One and a half spadouches. That is more than a sprinkle and less than a sprinkle. Okay? Don't get confused. Keep up. Gotta have time, okay? Basil. Italian niggas been using this for years. You gotta put basil. If you have fresh basil, even better. Okay? Alright, and Harriet said that's good. Okay? Now, you need some sage. Very, very important, ladies and gentlemen. So, when you is cooking, you know when you eat a sausage, like you have breakfast sausage, and you taste that, and you say, damn, this ain't no hamburger, this is ground sausage, that's sage. That flavor that lets you know that something is sausage and not a hamburger or a hot dog, that is sage. Italian niggas been using it for years. You need it, ladies and gentlemen. Sage, it has to go in there, okay? And so, even if you use like a, oh, bitch! Let me turn it down. Mm. Mm. The ancestors is not pleased. That's because some of y'all is out there covering your sauce. And I have to take it. I have to take it. Anyways, sage is crucial to the Italian revolution, okay? Make sure you have you some sage. So even if you was using regular vegan ground beef, it would still taste like um italian sausage okay we put the sage in then hey jonathan and then fennel maybe some people haven't heard of fennel I'm trying to make sure i'm breaking things down so if you ever let me show you what it looked like look like little seeds okay 
if you've ever had like a real big um italian sausage like maybe on a new york style pizza and you saw it had a little bird seeds in it you was like damn what is those little seeds that's fennel fennel is also something that people use to give things a sausagey flavor italians been using this never told niggas okay all right and sage get rid of the evil amen now this is oregano i'm sure everybody knows this and if you a self-respecting adult, I expect that you already going to have this in your house. A spladoosh, ladies and gentlemen. A spladoosh and a half. There you go. Now, we're going to stir this up. We're going to mind our business. Now, we're going to check on this in about, I would say, 10 to 15 minutes. We want all the flavors to what they call marry together. That just means when niggas come together. You know what I'm saying? When it's a little vibe. So what you want is the party was already popping. You want them to play the electric slide. That or back that ass up. You need everybody on the dance floor, okay? And in order to do that, you got to give niggas a minute to vibe, okay? So we're going to recap what's in the sauce. We got onions, bell pepper, green bell pepper. We got garlic, a little piece of shallot, fresh tomato, okay? And then we put the Italian, the vegan Italian sausage by field roast. Boom, we put that in there, right? Then, seasoning-wise, we got bouillon paste, onion powder, garlic powder, fennel, sage, basil, and oregano. If you have a little rosemary, too, you can throw some rosemary in there as well. Okay? Do that. Actually, I think I got some sasson. I'm going to put some sasson in it. I'm going to put some sasson in it, too. Because y'all know I'm from the hood. I just put sasson in everything. I just do. Okay? Now, there's um, two last ingredients that we're going to come and put in at the end. Okay? And those two ingredients is a little bit of cayenne pepper. We're going to put that at the end when it's almost done. When it's through simmering and vibing. We're going to put some cayenne pepper in it. Okay? And I'm going to put a little bit of agave in it. Right? Because we know that sugar does go in spaghetti sauce. I hope I don't have to fight nobody on this live. Okay? Sugar don't go in grits. It goes in spaghetti sauce. Amen? So we're going to put some sugar in here. But instead of sugar, we're going to be more healthy. or healthier because it's a new decade. Okay? We're going to add agave to it. And then we're going to put... A little bit of cayenne. I like my tomato sauce to be robust. I like to feel like it's going to give me um, a little bit of heartburn. So that's why I put the cayenne. But if you're not a spice person, leave the cayenne out. It's perfectly fine. But you must add the sugar or I'm going to beat your ass. Okay? I vote Food Network replace that fake Sunny with the... I cannot. I ain't doing that. I will not put down another black woman. No, I'm not. Okay, sauce. Leave it alone, Okay? Find you some business to mine. Now, while the sauce is working, here's what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to start to commence into getting our bill ready, okay? Okay, let me put this back here. Let me... Oh, I got this uh, cutting board right here. Okay, y'all. Hey, Marilyn. What's up, boo? Let me put this over here. Okay, so in here we have my smack and steak, which you know is trademark pending. You can purchase by the pound. I'm going to start shipping soon, but as of right now, real niggas is just selling it in Atlanta or whatever city you catch me in. Okay? All right, so the steak comes like this, and you can cut it up any way you want to, right? So last night, how did I cut it? Oh, last night I sliced it thin, and when I sliced it thin, I made beef and broccoli. I did that on my live on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, my name is exactly the same, at Sunny Speaks. You can follow me. So I alternate every day that I cook. So, oh, bitch. Oh, let me turn. Mm -mm. Almost got burnt. Was about to be looking crazy on here. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. I don't want that. Mm -mm. Okay, so I alternate. If you follow me on both, then you know that. So every day that I cook, um, if I cook, so like today I'm cooking um, on Facebook. Tomorrow when I cook, it'll be on Instagram. If I cook. Tomorrow if I cook, it'll be on Instagram. And I don't cook every day, but every time I cook, I alternate, okay? Make sense? I hope that makes sense. 
So we're going to take the steak. I'm going to turn this so you guys can see it. So with veal, it's kind of like a cutlet. So I am still going to um slice it. But I'm just going to make the slices thicker. Like the slices that I did last night were a lot thinner than this because I wanted to be like a flank steak. Okay. But this time I'm going to slice it thicker. Okay. Because I want it to be like a cutlet of meat. And we're going to batter that and fry that. It's going to be amazing. Okay. So I'm going to get a couple of pieces. And, all right, let me see. I'm trying to find a better little piece of portion. Okay. Let's see. All right, we're going to cut that thicker. Mm-hmm. Get another piece right there. Thicker. Okay, thicker, just thick, remember thickness matters, okay, so I pretty much think that that may be like enough pieces, and I have this little bit of steak left, hey Monique, the red sauce be angry child, don't it, okay, so I'm gonna cover this up and toss this back in the fridge real quick, one time for the one time. Okay, so let me stir this real quick. Sorry, y'all. You know red sauce be temperamental. Okay, so let me show you what I'm doing next. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my oven on 425. I doubt that we're going to keep it on that temperature. We'll probably end up putting it on broil because remember, our vegan steak is already cooked. So there's really no need for us to like cook it again in the oven. That doesn't make sense, okay? And I'm going to turn the oil on in the cast iron skillet. Actually, here's what I'm going to do. Hold on. I'm going to switch these. I'm going to put the cast iron over here so you guys can see what I'm doing better. And then I'm going to put the sauce on the back burner on low so, of course, I cannot get burnt anymore. All right. So this is our steak pieces, um, which we're going to use for veal parmesan. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to make the batter for this. So we're going to do two things really quick. Um, you need to batter it and fry it in breadcrumbs. So usually what happens when you're making um, veal parmesan is that you put it in flour, then you put it in egg, and then you put it in breadcrumbs. A couple of things are going to happen differently with vegan, with our vegan veal parmesan. So one, of course, we're not using real meat. We're using our vegan steak. Thing number two, vegans don't eat eggs, so we're not going to do that. And the egg is really, you just need something to make it stick to the breadcrumbs. So you can actually just make a batter for that, which is exactly what we're going to do. And then, y'all going to judge me, but I don't care, okay? So a nigga don't got no breadcrumbs, right? And I'm not going to buy none for just the purpose of this. So I got some leftover herb season dressing. Now it's still dry and stuff, so I'm going to just crush this up with a rolling pin and turn it into breadcrumbs. That's ghetto. I, I don't care if y'all judging me. I don't care. Judge me all you want. And then, also, I'd like to mention, um, this is an important factor as well. Most breadcrumbs are not vegan. The only ones that aren't that are vegan are the panko breadcrumbs. So like when you see all the Italian herb and all the sexy ass breadcrumb, ain't none of that shit vegan. So, ah ha. Ain't none of it vegan. Yeah, none of it's vegan, y'all. So what we gonna, oh, that's got a big ass hole in it. That won't work. Find another one. Make sure it ain't no hole. If you got a Ziploc bag, you probably want to use that. I ain't got nary a Ziploc bag, so I'm going to use this to make my breadcrumbs real quick. Y'all don't judge me. We're going to make some breadcrumbs. I had this left over from Thanksgiving. I didn't cook it, so we're just going to do this. And actually, it works really well because the other night... Was y'all on here? Yeah, that was on Facebook. I made, was that on Facebook? Yes, I think it was. But I made some fried mac and cheese balls. And I used this as my um, breadcrumbs. So we're going to put some of this in here. Feel like that's enough? I'm trying to save some because I really like dressing. Okay. 
And so, boom. So, I'm going to put this in there. Let me move my steak over to the other counter. And I'm just going to pound this out with a rolling pin. And make some breadcrumbs. Oh, bitch. This is a bad idea. My bag done busts already. Mm. Maybe I need to hit it a little bit lighter. I need to hit it a little bit lighter. That hard hit didn't work for the kids. Make sure. Yeah, I got to hit it lighter. That hard hit wasn't it. My breadcrumbs going to be sensitive. Sensitive. They will sensitive. Okay. They didn't like that. That was too hard for them. And also, actually, that's not a bad idea. I probably should just toss it in the food processor. That would make more sense. Oh, now it's the food processor is wet. Well, if you have a blender or a food processor, you could also do it in there as well. Okay. Let me see how this looks. Still pretty big. Some of them is being difficult, but some of them at the bottom is kind of nice, okay? I'm crushing it with my hands. This is what it looks like. And it's already seasoned because it's dressing, so this might be the move, though. I wish I had a better, more secure bag to put it in because that would really help me out. Okay. going pretty well okay we almost there ladies and gentlemen and then we just gonna boil some pasta and really be done with it and I guess if there's vegan croutons then you could probably do the same thing with your croutons as well and it would make breadcrumbs and you know what some people would say this is ghetto I say it's innovative hey Ruth okay I'm just kind of, some of the bigger pieces, I'm just crushing them up with my fingers so that they can be a little bit smaller. Okay, put it in a bowl and crush it with your hand. That's a good idea, but I don't want to dirty another dish. I hate washing dishes. That's ghetto. good to go I'm gonna um start making the um start making the uh batter okay okay let me where's that square bowl at that I had okay actually this bowl is gonna work a lot better okay so get you a bowl so now we're making the um the wet batter first, okay? Where's my which one? Okay. So for the wet batter, you're gonna mix your dry ingredients first, which is basically gonna be your flour. I'm gonna put some flour in here. Okay, that looks like it's gonna be enough. We're going to put a little bit of baking powder because we want the batter to be like light and airy. Just a little bit. Maybe like a quarter of a teaspoon. Um, And the other dry thing that we're going to put in there is going to be some seasoning. Okay, so I have some Exalta. This is just a mixed seasoning. So you can add Lari's or whatever, like whatever you're into. I happen to have Exalta. Um, 
I got this in another country, but you know, don't worry about me. Do you? Uh, but any mixed seasoning will do. Or if you don't have mixed seasoning, just use your bases, which is salt, black pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. If you use those, you'll be fine always in any situation, okay? So we're going to take this. We're going to mix our dry seasonings together. I don't know if you guys can see that. So that was flour, bacon powder, and um, what was it? Flour, bacon powder, and I just seasoned it, right? Okay. And the way I usually do it is I kind of usually smell it too. Okay, my grease is getting good and hot. I'm going to put a little bit of um, paprika in there as well. Sorry, there was nothing in that one. Just for the color, a little bit. Y'all know paprika don't do shit, so I don't know if y'all knew that or not, but if you didn't, now you know, okay? All right, really quickly, I'm gonna start adding the wet ingredients, which is going to be um, water and a little bit of apple cider vinegar, like literally a capful. Why? Because... The apple cider vinegar is going to react with the baking powder. Y'all remember when we used to do them little bullshit-ass volcanoes in school? So, yeah, I'm telling you, listen, being vegan has really made me regret cheating in science. Because I just feel like I could be so much of a better vegan if I didn't cheat in science. Also, if you have uh, milk, you can also use milk, too. So, if you want to use, um, like, an almond milk... Um, as your liquid instead of water you can also if you have sparkling water that's really good too bitch coconut milk works as well um, I tend to use coconut milk when I want like a thicker batter and I don't really want so much of a thick batter here but you know whatever like I said literally whatever floats your boat you can do you really want your um, batter, for the most part, to be pretty light and airy. Sorry, I got my big ass damn elbow in the mix. You can also hit it with a little cornstarch, too, if you want, which is what I'm going to do. Um, instead of flour, flouring it before I hit it with the wet, I'm going to probably toss it in a little uh a little cornstarch so this is the consistency of the batter which is pretty good i might add a little bit more flour to it you kind of want it to be like a you kind of want it to be like a loose pancake batter so um a little bit i'm gonna add a little bit more flour you want it to be a little bit thicker than crepe batter put a little bit more flour just a little bit my oil is getting super hot, which is perfect. Okay. I'm going to do my best so that you guys can see all the steps. I really don't know how well that's going to work out because, um, you know, space is limited and I have yet to get a camera crew. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to put a little bit of flour down. Okay, and so you guys know, or for those of you who don't know, it goes uh, dry, wet, dry. So you're going to put it, I have a little bit of flour here, which you can also like season the flour, which I think I will. I'm going to hit it with this other mixed seasoning that I have and just put a little bit of that in there or whatever. Okay, that one was really hot. And I have a cast iron skillet heating. So you're going to go dry, wet, dry. So it's going to be flour. Um, or dry batter first, wet batter, and then our makeshift breadcrumbs, okay? All right, y'all ready? And we're going to do all this while we try not to get burnt, okay? So we're going to put it in the flour, hit it with the flour real quick, boom de bop bim so that's what it looks like, okay? You're going to toss it, boom, flip it over, smack it around, yes. Take it, let it drip a little bit. Drip too hard, don't stand too close. You can fuck around and drip. Boom, toss it in there. Ooh, 
Hit it with the breadcrumbs. Boom. Hit it with the breadcrumbs. Ooh, they like that. Now that it's nice and breaded, put in the grease. Okay? Next piece, we're going to do the same thing. Hit it with the flour. Okay? Boom. Hit it in the wet batter. Grab it by the tip. Let it drip. Let it drip. Let it drip. Okay? Toss it in the makeshift breadcrumbs. Dust it off. Boom. Drop it in the grease. Repeat the process, ladies and gentlemen. Repeat the process. Into the seasoned dry flour. Make sure it's in there good. Into the seasoned wet flour. Make sure it's in there good. Let it drip. Let it drip. Let it drip. Drop it into the makeshift breadcrumbs, okay? Now remember, breadcrumbs is not vegan, ladies and gentlemen. And also, even if they was, we didn't have none. So what we did was we got some dressing, some, some uncooked dressing. And then with the uncooked dressing, we just mashed it up. And made some breadcrumbs real quick. Okay. I'm about to start flipping them now. Where's my little um? Let me get. Where's my tongs? I'm about to start flipping the first one. Okay. Bitch, it's golden brown on you niggas. <laughs> golden. Okay. My shit golden brown. You can never. Boom, we still going. Put it in the um dry flour. I'ma show it to y'all in a second. I just wanna get I wanna get my hands clean. Put the wet batter on it, okay? Now boom, we're gonna get it up out the wet batter. Let it drip. Remember, this is all vegan. Drop it in there. Okay? Let me turn this second one because that whole look golden brown as well. It is. That one look golden brown too. I don't even really want to show it to y'all because I know the hate going to start. As soon as you see it, you're going to be like, that ain't vegan for real. But you seen me make the whole thing. You seen it. You was like, oh. That's why I be telling people, be like, oh, if I'm vegan, I can't eat this, I can't eat that. No, you can't eat this, and you can't eat that. I eat good every day. Do I look like I miss a meal? I miss nary a meal. No matter the occasion. Okay, we're going to drop that in there. We got like uh, about, whoop. hold on, y'all. I got about three more pieces. Drop this piece in. Flip over this other piece. So y'all niggas can see the hate is real. Okay, I can fit this other piece in there real quick. And guys, remember, this don't, like, it's not like actual veal or chicken when you're making the chicken parmesan. This don't have to, um, this don't have to cook for real, guys. It don't, oh, bitch, my little piece broke. This don't have to cook for real because it's, it's already cooked. It's vegan. It's already cooked. Drop that right there. Get this other piece. So you're not really cooking it. You're just trying to get a little color on it in the grease. 
y'all hang on okay let me get this first piece out before it gets too brown I was getting too arrogant hold on put that in there that's good Get this other piece out here. And guys, also, don't forget, if you feel like it has not been in there long enough, that's okay, because it's going in the oven, too. We about to take it right out of here. So I got two more pieces, and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Oh, bitch. Hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all, hold on. My bad. Okay. Put a little bit more flour. I'm going to have to sweep the floor after this. Okay? Put it in the wet batter. Now, we're going to toss this in the breadcrumbs. Okay? Let it drip a little bit. Our makeshift breadcrumbs that we have made. All right, boom. Let me flip over my little other piece. Oop. Okay, now I'm uh, this piece is kind of big, so I'm just gonna break it into two real quick. Boom, put it in the dry, dust it off, drop it in the wet, okay. Then we're going to lay it in the breadcrumbs. Oh. My fingers done got all gummy now. Okay. Lay that in there. Last piece. Dust that off. Let me take this other piece off before I get caught up monologuing. Oop. Oh, no. That need to brown a little bit more on the other side. Flip this piece over. Flip this little guy over. That little guy over. Move the newer pieces to the back. Okay, let me get this last piece in. Last piece, y'all. And now we're going to take that last piece. Let it drip a little bit, okay? I'm gonna drop it in there. All right, drop that piece in there. Let me throw this stuff away and get my hands clean. I'm gonna rinse my hands off real quick. So I can show y'all what's up. Move this over here so y'all can see. Alright. Now you see it. Y'all didn't want to believe it. You niggas ain't want to believe my shit with golden brown. I said it was golden brown and that's what I meant. Boom, let me get this little piece right here. Just gonna put that in there. Got that little piece. Oh, that needs to get a little bit more color. Let me show you all the pieces that's done. This is our Bio Parmesan. Look at that. Okay? I'm gonna get the cheese and show y'all the cheese because we almost done. We about to wrap this thing up. All right, boom. I tell y'all a vegan secret. This come from Aldi. The brand is called Earth Grown, but it is from Aldi. Earth Grown is the company that makes all of their um, vegan products. Guys, I'm going to tell y'all this. And you know before I bullshit y'all, I will not fuck with you, okay? 
Aldi has the best vegan mozzarella cheese on the market. Hands down. Okay? And it's about $2 cheaper than the other brands. Some people don't want to shop at Aldi because it's like, oh, they don't give you no bag. They this, this, that, and the third. All right, that's cool. But listen, Aldi got the best vegan mozzarella. Now, the other comparable brand, I'm talking about flavor. I'm talking about melt-wise. The other comparable brand to uh, the Aldi brand would be Miyoko's. But Miyoko's is like $9. So, they're not, to me... To be honest with you, they're not even in the running. I don't even see them when I go in the grocery store. They literally don't count to me. Okay, so now we're going to taste our pasta sauce and make sure it's good. I do still got to add my agave for all my people who have class, who know that spaghetti sauce. Do, do post to get um, sugar. I have not forgotten you. I'm going to taste my sauce flavor-wise. Double, triple check. Make sure it don't need anything. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. We're going to add some agave. I can't speak on all the benefits of agave. It's low glycemic. It enters your bloodstream uh, slower. It's great if you have like diabetes or something, but it's better for you than sugar. This bottle right here costs like $6, but it also lasts longer than sugar, okay? So I'm going to just put a little swirl around. Swirl. I want to see you swirl. That's it. Okay? But the flavor of my sauce is perfect. It's been back here simmering, minding its black ass business. And I'm going to add a little bit of cayenne to it. Because y'all know I like a little bit of spice. Okay? And we about to put this in the oven. Okay, let me get these other pieces out. I could turn the fire off. And like I said, remember, you don't want to like, you don't want to overcook this because it's already cooked. Like, as a meat, it's, al it's already cooked. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so let me show you guys what it looks like. This our vegan veal parmesan. Fried golden brown, right? I'm going to taste one, you know, to detect for poison. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. I'm going to put a little finishing salt on it, but it's good. A little bit of finishing salt. That's alright with me. That's good. Mm-hmm. That's real good. I'm going to just go ahead and eat this other little straggler piece. Right? So now, here's what you're going to do. If you've never made veal or chicken parmesan. I'm going to show you what to do. The last thing I'm going to do is put the sauce on it, but you know... I mean, sauce is boiled or pasta, but I suspect you don't need no help with that part, right? Because the instructions is on the box. So you're going to get your sauce. Let me move this pan so you guys can see better. Um, somebody says something. Hold on, I'm coming to read it. I'm too lazy to fry. What? Frying is the easiest shit to do, Samara. Bacon and all that other stuff is hard. Oh, and also, guys, if you have an air fryer, this is a great fucking opportunity to use your air fryer. Like, why wouldn't you? Okay, so you're going to get your sauce. I hope you guys can see. I'm going to try to pull it a little bit closer and maybe make it easier for you guys to see. You're going to get your sauce nice and rich and thick and delicious as it is. You know, put it on top of each one. And you can really do this, honestly, however you want. If you're a little bit of sauce person, you can do it. I recommend 
putting a good amount of sauce on it reason being is because vegan cheese is about to be on it vegan cheese does not like to be dry it's thirsty as fuck so whenever there's like not a lot of moisture with vegan cheese and eh, it doesn't tend to go well that's why if you guys have ever seen me make the vegan mac and cheese once I sprinkle that cheese on the top, I still put more roux on top of that sprinkle cheese because it don't really work out well for the culture when vegan cheese gets dry. It just, it don't really work. So, sauce it up. Make it nice and saucy. Okay. And we're going to put our vegan uh, mozzarella on there. All right. I'm going to show you guys my little pro tip. And I really like this um, mozzarella too. I use this for like pizza, pretty much anything Italian that I'm doing. I use this when I make um, Philly steak and cheese. I really love this cheese. And like I told you guys before, you know I don't get paid enough to tell y'all that I like some shit that I don't. I don't know how I'm going to inform you when those checks start arriving. But at present moment, I don't get enough money to tell y'all I like some shit that I don't. So, I actually like these brands. Okay? We're going to toss this in the oven. The oven is on 425, but in all truth, what's probably going to happen is I'm probably going to end up just putting it on broil. So that the cheese can melt and I can go on about my fucking business. Because I'm really hungry. I'm going to put that in the oven. And by the time I get the pasta started to set up the boil. Um, if that ain't melted already. Then I'm going to put it on broil and going on. Okay. Now. Before we go. Any questions, comments, or concerns. Let me know. Mmm. 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 Twirl, bitch. Twirl. You did that, ho. I did that. That is good, y'all. Mm. See, I burned myself. Because Jesus don't act like when you act like a nigga on TV. Questions? Comments and or concerns? Also, really quick before I go, if you have not joined the vegan challenge, the link is in the bio. Some of y'all probably saying, well, Sonny, I already tried to join. I'm waiting for you to approve me. I'm going to start approving niggas when I get a downtime, a down moment. But the challenge do not start till January 10th. So you ain't missing nothing. Ain't nothing, there's no recipes, there's no live, ain't shit special going on inside the annual vegan challenge right now because the challenge have not started. The challenge don't start till January 10th. So if you are a person who clicked, um, you already clicked in a live, like, oh, Sunny Speaks Annual, I want to be a part. And you're like, Sunny, I asked you to accept me, you didn't accept me yet. Don't worry about it. The challenge ain't start till January 10th. So I'm probably going to start, I got to go to D.C. on Saturday. Um, when I get back on Wednesday, I'm probably going to start accepting niggas or I'm going to start accepting people on the plane. But if you have not heard about the vegan challenge, I want you to hear about it and I want you to hear about it from me. The vegan challenge is absolutely amazing. All of this, what you see, these lives, all of that's going to go away for January. Boop! It's all going to go away. The only way you're going to get the lives is if you're in the actual challenge group. Okay. That's the only way. Trust and obey in Jesus, okay? So if you have not joined the vegan challenge, do I got sauce? Y'all was gonna tell me that sauce right here. If you have not joined the vegan challenge, please join it. I wanna. Ooh, my cheese melting whole. <laughs> I'm done. Let me boil this water. Oh, shit, I ain't got no oil. Oh, I'm going to use this oil over here. Anyways, join the vegan challenge. 
please. You're going to have live videos like this one where you can interact, ask me questions. I'm going to be doing videos while I'm grocery shopping as well, showing you guys which grocery stores I go to, which brands that I buy. All of those things are going to be inside Vegan Challenge. And if you are in the Atlanta area, we also do vegan meetups, right? So, um... Every week, we're going to do at least one to two meetups. Minimum one, but we might have two um, meetups. And they're going to be at amazing, awesome, wonderful black-owned restaurants here. And black-owned vegan restaurants that are here in Atlanta that I get to show people. Um, So I really, 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 really hope you guys join the Vegan Challenge. And that's all I got to say about that. If there ain't no questions, no comments, and nothing like that, I'm going to be on my merry way boil this pasta because i'm hungry real quick let me show y'all my um my bill parmesan because ho i'm proud i just gotta do this real quick for everybody who always say vegan cheese don't melt vegan cheese don't what ho because you hoes gonna be having it on the right temperature look at that i'm gonna put this down before i burn myself just saying have a blessed evening. Put this on high. Oh, may the Lord watch between me and thee while real niggas is absent one from another.